Paco Jacko. Pow. pow. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Home Fireside. This is my mama. Hello. This is my mama, Misi. Mama Marisa. Her name is Marisa. <laughs> we just did something fun for Mother's Day today. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I thought I'd honor my mother today. We decided to watch her favorite movie. We did that okay. actually two nights ago. Kind of wish I had done like this whole, I wish I had like guessed your favorite movie. Yes, but, but he did guess it. Because I guessed it. Because yes. when I called her and I was like, hey, let's do this. And I was like, what's your favorite movie? And, she, and I was like, I bet I could guess. And she told me, and I was like, I'm right. So I'm gonna give you three seconds to guess. What do I look like in my favorite movie? More than three seconds. West Side Story. <laughs> West Side Story. Great, Daddy O. All right, so I just want to talk with my mom about her favorite movie. So tell me why is West Side Story? Your well, first movie? of all, I want to point out that you said, "Oh, I looked up when this was," and you never like saw it in theaters when it was newly released. And I was like, "Yeah, you're right, because that's before my time." Yes, before your time. So she's not, before, that, she's not that. She's not that old. They don't like you. But um, when I was in ninth grade, we had to read Romeo and Juliet, and so I thought it was fun that when we got done reading the book, our teacher had us watch West Side Story, just because of the similarities and how it's. So West Side Story is inspired on, yeah, inspired, inspired, took inspiration okay. from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, and I just kind of fell in love. And my family had always had the soundtrack, and so I grew up listening to the music. So I knew the music a lot. But then when I got to watch the film and see the dancing, I just fell in love because I do love to dance. And this I loved a, the story. No, yeah, this was a staple for us growing up. We watched this one all the time in our household. And uh, yeah, I think watching it just recently, it's, it's been a while since I had watched it. And um, yeah, same for me. I guess I just never realized how, because I was always like, oh, this dancing is fun. But I guess I would, I assumed as I've gotten older, I was like, oh, well, I just thought the dancing was fun. But watching it now, it's like good. Yeah, like, it's like it's ridiculously good dancing. Good dancing. Yes. Like it's not just, yeah, this yeah. isn't just like high well, school. What I think <laughs> is fun, no. And what's fun about watching it is like I said, um, you might think it ridiculous to watch a gang come in for a fight. Yes. Dancing and spinning and everything. But, uh, yeah, talent. And that all of, a lot of those uh, dancers in the gang and everything were on the Broadway production. Yes. Okay. Yes. In the Broadway production. And excellent dancers. Yeah. So, this, so was, this was West Side Story was originally a Broadway musical first. The musical was a huge success. Tony Awards, everything. And I believe... Jerome Robbins had the idea of making it a movie and he kind of more or less asked someone to produce it for him as I understand I don't really know but Jerome Robbins is the main choreographer which is why this is such a dance heavy film yeah. he's the choreographer he was also one of the directors um this is the first film in history by the way I don't know if you know this, this is the first film in history that there were two directors who were both nominated and won an Academy Award it's the first time that the know. best this is the first time the best directing award was shared at the Oscars. Nice. So that's a fun, yeah. fun little fact. So one thing, I guess, again, back to the dancing. For me, I think one thing that's cool about it, if you haven't seen it, um, go see it. I don't know. I, guess, I don't want to talk too much spoilers. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But part I, of me is like... It's assuming that everyone has seen. Yeah, because part of me is like, if you've seen... Ro if you know Romeo and Juliet, like, it's based off Romeo and Juliet, so you, so you know... know if you know what happens in Romeo and Juliet, you probably can guess what happens here. But um, one thing about the dancing that's really cool, when Romeo and Juliet starts taking a turn, and similar in this story, when things start taking a turn, I'll just say it that way. Okay. The dancing is very vibrant in things, and yes, it's these two gangs who are, like, getting at each other. Mm-hmm. And as soon as things take a turn to dancing, it's not it's not fun and no, it gets a little more serious more. to they're straight um, up they're straight up beating each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I thought that was very a very interesting image to see because I think that's kind of the one of the things of this is just how silly and that's the thing of Romeo and Juliet just this the how ridiculous each family feels about each other and how tr how tragic that is that each family view, has their views that way and very similar with these two gangs who represent the two families in, in Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. They have their own, they have their own ridiculous beliefs Issues about with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And, but it's really true for that time with the racial mm -hmm. issues. And, um, yeah, I, it's kind of interesting to see that even in the racial that's going between the two gangs, but yet, you know, the cops, we pointed out the cops at that time, they were even racial. Leaders. Yeah. Which I didn't notice, I, which by the way, I remember you mentioned that and I was like, they are? And I watched it again and I was like, holy cow, that detective's a little jerk. <laughs> yeah, even against the Puerto Ricans. Yeah. But also I think their uh, just economic ways of life 
just that you can see that these kids, they're just, they're, they're family. They consider their game, their family. Right. Like they don't want to go home. They don't want to be home. And I think that also kind of speaks to possibly teenagers at that time. Yeah. Or teenagers even now. But just that they, I, I find a family and my friends, not necessarily at home. Yeah. And that's, and I'd rather be, this is what I consider I'm going to fight for them and even die for them. Right. And that's interesting. That's how, yeah. So again, two families, but they are families. just because of, yeah. it's because of that. Just thinking about um, the choreography, I just think it's. Uh, very iconic because there's just different scenes like when the shark the three sharks come forward in that scene where they I don't know they come extend and uh, what I was going to say is that so many people have borrowed scenes from that oh. I was pointing out that Michael Jackson's bad oh that's right yeah bad video uses uh, some of the choreography and kind of like feel of it Animaniacs I mean, yeah, well, that spooks, that spooks everything. But. Yeah, I was going to say that <laughs> doesn't do the choreography, but it just... The good, uh, you're talking about the good feathers, right? Yes, yeah, the good they feathers. Do a, they do a West Side Story. I love that. <laughs> We'd like to purchase for Zazie's Why can't we purchase for Zazie's Head? The things you get parodied that often, that's very clear. That, that means those who are making that joke are aware, or I assume, oh, well, everyone knows. Mm -hmm. West Side mm -hmm. Story. That they'll they'll right. know what we're doing. They would know what we're doing. Yeah, they'll, yeah. Know, what we're, they'll know yeah. what we're doing. Which actually brings me to my, my next point. Um, I You didn't know this. I shared this fact with you. So Amer the American Film Institute, their top 100 movies of all time, list they made back in 2007. I don't know what their plan is because that list is technically like 13 years old. So there's 13 years of movies that could be on that list. But as of right now, their top 100 movies of all time, West Side Story, is on that list. Yeah. And I love watching movies from that list and just kind of being like, okay, why? Why would they? Why is this here? What, what about this in, in their mind was game changing? And I think part of it is just the, that, that it's like, because actually, you know, I've, I mentioned this in other videos too. You, you probably, you have seen a parody of this somewhere. I'm sure you have. Mm -hmm. You've seen this referenced Sometimes. at least, yeah. you know, made like parodied or yeah. And you may watch it and go, oh, that's what this was. Mm -hmm. That's what this was. Making a meme. Of. I saw a meme one time. Oh, it's yeah. Shark Week. And it was the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I think what put it on that list, too, I mean, is the amount of Academy Awards. And, and that was the other yes. thing that I was surprised by. I knew that Rita Moreno had won, mm -hmm. but she was the only one that I could remember. Just because she is my favorite character, Anita is my favorite. And I, at the time, I thought, oh, I would love to be Anita. Mm -hmm. Not good enough. But <laughs> I'll get I was, part. yeah, I was a dancer. <laughs> yes, dancer. Yeah, so you mentioned... Academy Awards. This film won 10 Academy Awards. I haven't looked up like specifically, but I know that was like a huge deal. Like when it happened, it was like, holy cow. Yeah. 10 Academy Awards. That and even, amazing. Well, now. Well, it, yeah, I just yeah. say that now that's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Now that's like really amazing yeah. to do. That's hard to do. It's not yeah. a casual thing that happens. But, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. So yeah, tell it your, your little opportunity. Oh, yes. Your, your, so, your rise to fame. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was um, in college, our school going to do play and I thought oh my gosh are you kidding me this is like a dream and I've never really done theater before and so I thought okay I'm gonna perform as a dancer but not theater so I thought okay I'm yeah I'm doing this I want to do this and so I thought well I've never auditioned for anything like this before but I want to be Anita so bad that I am going to sing and I already did the dancing audition and everything but I sang didn't get cast as Anita it's all right but I was a dancer, and our Anita was not a strong dancer. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they gave me all of her solo dance numbers. So, dance so, the gym, all of that, I got to do. So, in a way, I was kind of, you know. You, you got to, you, you got to be Anita. Uh, Anita, I mean, Yeah, so. and the important ones. Yes. Because <laughs> the other thing, too, about, I think, AF, I've noticed on the list of A5 films, there's a certain element of cinematography that contributes to the film like imaging and whatnot i think that's that's a really important part with most of those movies well this one the cinematography again the dancing um very specific like angles of the dancing i think mm -hmm. makes a huge difference on like the impact of the choreography because there are like up shots when people are coming down yeah, the street right. and there's also these like really long like wide shots when they're yes. Yes. down the tunnels yes. and everything those yeah. those those images are really made better and that movement is made better by the camera movement mm -hmm. combined with it well even like um what we were talking about using when four they go to the dance of the gym and they're fixing her dress in the shop. She puts her dress on and she starts spinning and then it moves into that they're at the gym and then the dancers come up and just the coloring that they use to get that to like transition. get to that weird light mm -hmm. place. Yeah. Well, and that so that brings me to the next point: coloring. That was there is a specific color and like a specific type of red that is frequented throughout mm -hmm. the film. And we were kind of talking about that. 
I still don't really know what it means. Well, it's kind of interesting to me because sometimes back, I mean, I don't, I'm not a film person, you but sometimes film. backgrounds are just kind of, you know, I'm sure they mean different things and everything, but I especially noticed it when we watched it again, and I've noticed it before, but really last night when we were watching it, and it was Dance at the Gym, how red the walls are. Just red. And yeah. I thought, oh, that's interesting for a building to have that much. Just be extremely red. red. Yeah. yeah. Well, and there's a, a few characters who may have, they may determine their fates, who have, like, actual interactions with the red. They even touch it. Like, so, Bernardo, he, like, when he's first introduced, you see a close-up of his face, and there's a brick wall behind him is painted that red, and he mm-hmm. just smacks it, and mm-hmm. then he keeps walking. I was like, oh, interesting. Tony, there's a shot of him, like, holding a red railing to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a certain time. And I, and I feel like there was more even that I missed. Um, another thing of red that I thought was interesting, they go to their rumble under the highway. Mm-hmm. And the bottom of the highway is painted red. Oh, red. Who, who, what city guy was like, no, we need, this place needs to be super bright red, right? <laughs> That's obviously, that was obviously a choice of the film for yeah. them to do that. And I think that could suggest, really suggest something. So that mm-hmm. coloring was really interesting. I wanted to ask you um, what your thoughts are because Steven Spielberg Oh, is you're making this this year. What are your I'm what excited. Thoughts? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Sometimes it's like, oh no, don't ruin it. Don't <laughs> don't ruin it. Don't do it. It's it's fine the way it is. Uh-huh. But I think that it can stand on its own. Yeah. I think that West Side Story will always just be West Side Story, the original. And let's just see the new. That is very smart. I think that's a really smart way. Yeah. Because, because well, a lot of people freak out typically when like, oh, don't touch my movie when like the original is still there. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? and like I said, it's awesome and it will always just. And on myself. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of how I felt about Footloose. Oh yeah, yeah. Just because Footloose came out when I was sixteen mm-hmm. and loved Footloose, and I just felt like, oh, they're going to remake it. Okay, Footloose will stand on its own. Yeah. Be awesome. Well, and quite frankly, I don't think the new one compares. No, even like it, a little it, bit. <laughs> it, it, it didn't, yeah. in my opinion. But still, some people that might be all that they know is that's that, true. That Footloose. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, Footloose is awesome. But the original. So you mentioned to me. Like, Tony and Maria scenes, ironically, are kind of some of the maybe, yeah. like, weaker parts. Yeah, you know? so it was kind of like, when I was watching it this time around, I noticed that, you know, I love Tony and Maria. I mm-hmm. love them. Um, I kind of just share that whenever he sings the song Maria, I changed the words to Marisa. Marisa. Because that's my name. And suddenly that name will never be the same. Yeah, those scenes are great, and they're fun. But I don't know. For me, I like to just kind of get back to what's happening with um, the sharks and the jets and those things that are going because yeah. they just have a lot of fun musical numbers and just funny things going on. Well, the love story is good, and and when you do kind of think about it, you think, wow, they fell in love ridiculously fast. You know what? And that's actually something. Just getting just to the play Romeo and Juliet. Yes. I I don't think Romeo and Juliet is really about Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. I think I think that's I think that is an interesting plot point in in this story of two yeah, two, two families, families just not getting along, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and it's interesting to see how two people from that family get along and the problems that cause when they shouldn't. Okay, you know? but that's kind of the same thing with the whole racial yeah. thing. It's like why are we why do we have this why when two care? people just look at each other for who just see each other as two people yeah. and fall in love and everything? And I think that's true with the racial things that mm-hmm. we see is that yeah just it's, break it, it doesn't down. matter it's really two people it's just, just about people. and that it's silly that racial issues are going on when tony and maria looked at each other saw each other as just beautiful people and fell in love and that it's about that that if, if they can we not see that these two people could come together yeah and then you know I, and the, i see that a lot in the ending that's why that ending gets me every time i'm gonna cry <laughs> you cry it's a good, it's a great ending my gosh i know it makes me cry every wearing time. wearing the red by the way she's wearing that same color red like dress yes oh mm-hmm. that's so good. yeah and they're coming can i even talk about this i don't know maybe we can we don't have to i promised myself i wouldn't cry even though i've seen the film a lot. Uh-huh. And I see the ending, it still chokes me up and makes me cry. And it's kind of silly that it affects me that way. But that they come together, of course, we know how the ending goes. Yeah. I don't know if we're talking spoiler alerts. But well, I, I mean, say that most but people probably again, see Romeo and Juliet, you're yeah. a familiar with that. You're familiar with this. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, what I love is how she gets so passionate. And when she says, Well, I can 
I can kill now too because I have hate. Talking about the hate that they had for one another. And just that they were standing there, the two gangs on either side of her, and that when it comes time that the detective comes in and he's very cold about things and and that she just is hurting and that um, a member of the opposite gang comes and stands by her. Like, we will support you. We, yeah. We've got you. That even though just earlier they were harassing Anita and being so awful and terrible, their hearts have been softened, I guess. That's a good point. I actually hadn't noticed that, I think. Because I noticed that it happened, but I guess I didn't even consider the fact that just beforehand yeah. they were literally yeah. just being horrible. harassing horrible. being so yeah. awful. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. suggesting that hearts can change. Yeah. 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 It doesn't take you, you that it, you can change in an instant when it comes to hate. And then when they're lifting Tony and the jets are lifting him, but he's starting to fall, that the sharks just instantly have that instinct to just help. Yeah, it's it's within you, right? Ah, yeah. thank yeah. No, this just is have good. that instinct to help and lift. It's sad that it take, took that circumstance to bring them together, but sometimes that's what it is. Well, that's life. well, that's the point of a tragedy too. That mm-hmm. the point of a tragedy to me is to say, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to experience this. Yeah, these people experience this, so you don't have to. You know what I mean? We're we're letting these characters go yeah. through this. And, no, I love that. Thank you, because I I've, I've noticed those things about the ending. But I think you. Yeah. Brought new things to life. And that's what I love, again, about West Side Story, is the message. Even though it has all this other stuff going on, but it really is about, hey, let's just see each other for for people. One thing about this, too, again, so kind of this idea of Tony and Maria, and I don't know if this was ever a thing for you. Um, we never really talk about this, but um, your mom and dad, uh, your mom, English. My mother's English and my father is Mexican. They're it's married and they've been married for 62 years. Yeah, and they are <laughs> a strong couple. They've yes. always been a strong couple. Yeah. So, and that's... Yeah, and families love each other and... Um, and thank heavens they didn't let anything, anything racial get yeah. away. You know? But I think even at the time, and they don't talk about it a lot, but I do know that at the time that there was probably some issues with them coming together well, they got at that time. The, In 50... Something. Yeah, that's something. That <laughs> it's probably yeah. something to do back then. You yeah, know? not 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 seen a lot. Probably, yeah, so, for the area that they lived in. Yeah, I, I they I think they're pretty good at just maybe I, maybe their experiences are there. They don't really share because yeah. I never got the mm-hmm. those stories either. But, yeah. Um, you we mentioned they are Tony and Maria are kind of the weaker scenes, and I think that is just because. Yeah. So I think right? that, yeah. The, so seeing the Tony and Maria, I I love it. You know. Yes. Whatever, but I, for me, a lot of times it is about the games. Honestly, I was thinking the movie's two and a half hours. If we had just tramped down the Marine and Tony scenes, it probably could have been. Well, two hours. you know what I remember is I'd hit the fast forward. Oh, sometimes. yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, like, All right, Maria, okay. Get to the good stuff. Well. Score the movie. Just. Well, 10. 10 out of 10. Honestly. Is that what we're doing? 10? I don't know. I was just gonna, I don't probably know. wasn't going to score it because I, I didn't really think about that. <laughs> what, what's our rating that? system? Well, whatever, your, whatever your rating system wants to be. Five dance shoes. Five dance shoes. <laughs> five out of five dance shoes. <laughs> Done. That's yes. it. Okay. <laughs> I'll awesome. Give, I'll give that's my rating as well. Five out of five dance shoes. <laughs> yes, it's awesome. Uh, that's yeah. Perfect. Oh, the language. Because we're oh. gonna that. <laughs> ba-ba, ba-ba. That's something you love yeah. to do. The language of it. <laughs> that, well, I was curious if if the language at that time are they really using rep, you know I don't know. That's one of the things that I'm I'm feeling like great maybe is daddy-o. A great daddy o and Yeah, Wacko Jacko. Wacko Jacko uh, Ping Pow. Oobly oo. Oobly oo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean Yeah, are those were those terms really used so much I, at that time? I don't know, because they're not that cool. <laughs> um it's still fun though. It's got it's kinda like the feel of the movie. And I don't yes. know, maybe so maybe for my my scoring, I would give this five oobly oos. Five oobly oos. Out of five oobly oos. Five the out of best five oobly oos. Wow! And you can punctuate it. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how you got me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Um, what are your thoughts on West Side Story? Comment below. Also, what's your mom's favorite movie? Do you know? Yeah. I knew. Oh, good son. What's your mom's favorite movie? If you don't know, find out and watch it today on this, the day of mothers. Give your mom some love. I love you, mom. I love that. I love you too. I appreciate this you. This is awesome. This, this has is been great. great. <laughs> this has been fun. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye bye.